Hello everyone, my name is Jose Elizardo, and in this video we're going to see how we can use a HDR image to light up this exterior shot using Arnold and 3ds Max. So let's jump right in. The first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and launch my asset library, my 3ds Max asset library. If you're not familiar with this tool, it's available for free on the Apps Exchange Store. And it's a really great way to centralize all the different assets that you use on a daily basis into one convenient place. Uh, so from here, we can go ahead and select our HDR folder and literally just drag and drop HDR images right into a Max's viewport. You can use them as a background, uh, environment map, and or as a viewport background. Um, in this case here, I left them both enabled, and when we launch up the Active Shade Arnold rendering, you'll see that we get a really nice uh, image off the bat. Uh, uh, Arnold does a really great job at using HDR data um, as lighting information. So from here, what I like to also do is uh, take my environment map. You see that it's plugged into the environment map. That happens automatically when you drag and drop it in. Bring it into the slate editor and start making some modifications to this image. I like to go ahead and play with the offset a little bit. This basically just rotates the image in place. So bringing the lighting information from the different angles uh, based on um, where uh, they are located in space. Um, so from here, what I also like to do is try out different HDR images. So you can literally just drag them and drop them right into Max's viewport to get that immediate feedback into the render. Um, and this is a really great workflow, obviously, for LookDev when you're trying to figure out uh, you know, what types of uh, HDR images you want to use from your library. This makes it really efficient and a really nice way to work. So I'm going to stick with this one. This is the one that I like. The next thing I like to do is go ahead and open up my environment uh, panel and add an exposure control, a physical camera exposure control. We can adjust the, the exposure value as such. And something else that I like to do, a kind of underestimated feature of this particular tone mapper is uh, the image control dials. So this is a really great way to kind of punch in your image a little bit, add some, uh, add a little bit more flair to your image by adding some contrast and, and playing with those uh, highlights and those midtones. Um, so thanks for watching.